Hi, welcome to the sixth episode of Chatbot Creation. In our previous video, we have seen how can we create and we can publish a particular workflow from UiPart Studio to Orchestrator. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Vikadam and let's get started with our episode number six. So in today's video, we are going to see how can we create a chatbot in Dialogflow. But before that, let's navigate to Dialogflow. So we will type Google Dialogflow and we will click on the first link which we see. So cloud.google.com, which is documentation. Okay, so this is a documentation of Dialogflow. Now uh, here we have a button which says go to Dialogflow console. So I'll click on go to Dialogflow console. Now you might have to create an account on Dialogflow in order to get started. I have already created a couple of chatbots as you have you might have seen in my earlier videos. Today we are going to create a new agent. So just click on this one and say create new agent. This time we are going to give it a name as German translator. So just select this and select time zone. The time zone which I am in is GMT5 plus 30. Select the language and let's say create. So once you create, it creates a new, okay, so it says cancel. I don't know why. Has it created a chatbot? Let me refresh. Reload. Lately I faced this issue. So let's say German talker. Okay, and just create it. Okay, so I have to select a Google project. So let's say a nature bot and select and it's created. Wonderful. So once we have selected this, we have created a new agent whose name is German talker. Now this time we have only fallback intent and a welcome intent. So we need to create a chatbot which, uh, which can work with our workflow in UiPath. So we have a default welcome intent. Let's modify default welcome intent. So the first thing which we have is event which is welcome. We have some text which is hi, hey there and blah, blah, blah. And there are some couple of default responses. I don't want any of the response. I want to create my own custom response. I'm just going to say it's going to be a text response. And the response is going to be, hi, welcome to German talker. Okay. Enter your text to convert in, enter your German text. Okay. Enter your German text to convert in English. Okay. Please make sure to enter German followed by German colon. Okay. So we are just telling them that you should just type in uh, before typing in your German text, you just say German quotation, German and single colon. So this is what I have modified as a welcome intent. From welcome intent, I want to jump to a context. Now what is context? Context helps you to navigate to a next intent which you create. So this time I'm going to say German translation. Okay. This is my intent. I will say the one lifespan. One indicates that immediately after this, it will jump on to the next intent which is a German intent. So I will just save this so this intent is done i have created a default intent now let's create intent for german translation so i'll click on plus this is going to be german uh, translation okay let's save this one let's take in context as an input which was german translation so i will say add context which is going to be german translation remove from output because i don't want to jump on to any other intent from this one so this is done and then let's add training data. So what training data are we looking forward to? So we will, we are asking user to enter German text followed by German colon, right? So we will give the training data in such a way. So this is German colon space. Now let's give some training. So English to German translation on Google. Let's give some training to our Dialogflow agent. So first of all, who are you? So let's give this one as a question to German translation enter and now in order to take in 
anything as a variable, what, I, what we are trying to do, I'll tell you. So this, we are going to use a very simple trick. So first of all, let's train it. So how are you? What is your name? Then we'll add this one. Okay, so it is followed by German, Poland, this, enter. Let's add some more questions. So you are, which country are you, uh, let's say, mm, where do you stay? Okay, where do you stay? Again, German, Poland, this one. And uh, I'll just say, um, what do you like to eat? I'm just treating some basic questions as an input. So that doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is a simple trick to accept any type of data. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to mark this complete thing as an system dot any because any can take up any value which is followed by German. So we are creating a pattern for this one. So let's enter this value also. We will select, select any, then we will select this value is going to be system.any and we are selecting this value which is going to be system.any. This is wonderful. Now what's happening is that whenever go, a, tra a person is going to enter the German text, he has to enter it German colon and followed by the question from the German language. This we will catch as the parameters which is named as any but remember we need input exactly into the name of arguments so this is going to be german input where g is capital so this is going to be german input right and then we need an output so before that we will just write it here as a response that the german the answer i can just say answer for your german question which is dollar German input is colon space and we are going to take in the output from our UI path which is German output because its direction is out so we are going to say this is as German output okay so as you can see your answer for your German question is German output right and now we can just say reply or just remove this one and we don't want anything so that's it so i have separated with the colon that should be enough or we can just put it below so let's just put it below okay and we have added the response we have treated we have given some kind of training to this data if you want to give some more training you can just say um how's your day okay so we can Keep on giving such kind of training to make it more accurate. The more training uh, you give to the data, the more accurate the data becomes, right? So just make it this as a no, not system ready, German input, exactly. So that's perfect. Now let's go ahead and let's save this intent. And we have saved it. Come back here. As you can see, this is rolling, right? So this rolling is means that the, the training is being done right now. The training is in progress. Now, once this is done, Let's include small talks in our dialogue for chat. So small talk enables you. You can how agents suppose in a small talk such as about agent, courtesy, emotions, and you can add such few things. So you just have to enable this. So enable the small talk. Come back to this one. Come back to your intent. Now small talks are getting trained. So basically your intent is ready. So in today's video we have created a chatbot in Google Dialog Flow. In the next video we will see how we can go ahead and integrate Google Dialogflow with uipathschatbot.com. So thank you so much for watching this video. Till the next time, happy automation.